So I wanted to create an ebook that would be great for entrepreneurs or even creatives who are looking to figure out how do you go from start to finish when it comes to creating your content on Adobe Express. I think what we wanna start with is a textured background. I usually go into media to see what I can find. Now I could do a text to image. Let's actually type in Make sure it says white paper. I think we're finding some good ones. So I think this is our background. I'm gonna make a duplicate of this because I kinda wanna mess with the background a little bit. So what I do is just hit um, Command D. We're going for the graffiti kind of mm -hmm. like composite kind of look. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and try to make some marks on this to make a background. Okay. We're gonna go into generate a fill. Let's try to make it a little bit like maybe like this and we can add a little bit. I'm just putting in the prompt purple graffiti spray. That oh, this one. one actually is dope though. I think the next thing we wanna work on is the title. So I'm gonna add my text, which is make content happen. I'm gonna try out the text layouts. I kinda like this. I wanted to maybe add like a shape behind it. Make it, what'd they say, make it pop? <laughs> make it pop. <laughs> make it pop. And I just go ahead and I'll take the eyedropper, put it there, ooh. And then we're just gonna add it to our library so that we have it. So we're gonna go back to the shape and we're just kinda give it a little bit of room so it can breathe a little bit cause it looked like it was a little, it was suffocating. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my text tool and I'm gonna just drop it down here. This here kind of gives me that kind of like handwritten, a little still that little edge to it. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding a shape. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the rectangle shape. You can size it however you want. I love that and kind of just use this rotate kind of thing. So basically we're gonna go on our next page, which is the overview of it. I wanna take this crinkly background that we've already made. I hit Command C and I go over to my page and I go ahead and hit the plus button. So now now we're in the second page and I just go ahead and command V. Duplicate it and mm -hmm. I'm gonna go right on top of it um, and do the same thing we did last time, which was the generate a fill. So we're gonna keep with that motion. I actually like this a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this, right? Best thing about it, we can transfer literally anything into her. So you can literally just hit paste and it is in here, okay? <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and try to choose a, a font that's something that you could read mm -hmm. pretty legible. I think we need a title, right? So we're gonna do the overview. I'm gonna go ahead and add a shape to kind of make this a little interesting. <laughs> go back to our shapes. I kind of, we're working with the round shape, so I'm gonna go ahead and go just use that. But I think what we wanna do is kind of add like a little, like I said, a little oomph to it, you know? Well, scrum the rump, you know? I don't, that's that's my vocabulary for you. <laughs> I think we're gonna add an outline. So I'm gonna okay. go ahead and add that outline and I'm gonna make it thick. Yeah. All right, so I think now I need to add like an image or some sort of thing that has to do with like content creation. Mm -hmm. So I think what we could do is go back to the media and we could either look through the actual photos or we could use the text to image. Let's see what we get if we put content creation. Oh, wait a minute, I think we found something. Hold on. Clicking erase. So you can kind of like use either the quick selection tool to actually choose what you want. And then another thing is too, you have the brush. We can go ahead so and erase end there, this. you have some options. Yeah, so if you need to just kind of like hit it real quick, you know, one time. You know what, we're actually going to make this grayscale. That's what we're going to do. Mm. Boom, we grayscale it. And effects, yeah. What, why we need all that color? We don't need it. We don't <laughs> need it. Make a duplicate, right? And then you can go <laughs> into your effects. Yeah. And then you can go into custom and you can hit the color that you want it to be. And boom, you got an outline. This is a remix of what I literally oh, just this did. Is so, pretty. so this is all made Repeat. in Adobe Express. Well, I had a great time. That was yeah. That this was has amazing. been great. Thank you, Alexis, for yes, being here today. Absolutely.